So quick detour from our regularly scheduled programming today because I woke up this morning to find that my Unraid server had crashed. Super rare, but when I spun it back up, I checked my dashboard and noticed a disk reporting a smart error. Now, thanks to Parity, I'm not at risk of losing any data, but this is something I need to address. So today, I'm going to swap out the problematic disk with a brand new one, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Let's dive in. Hey guys, CJ here with Elevated Systems, and this is my Unraid server. If you're interested in how to build a home server or how to set up Unraid, I'll link those videos below. However, if you're here, you probably have a server and want to know how to swap out a failing or failed disk. First things first, how do you know if a drive is failing? Well, don't be like me and just wait for your server to crash. You should periodically log into your Unraid dashboard. When I did that this morning, I got a whole list of warnings down the right side of the screen letting me know there were problems with a drive in the array. I noted the serial it was reporting and then in the dashboard tab, I scrolled down and immediately saw that disk 3 was reporting a smart error. Clicking on disk 3, I saw that it was indeed the same disk ID that all the warnings were about. I clicked on the self-test tab and ran a self-test, which immediately kicked back a read failure. So it's most definitely time to replace that drive. Luckily, I have a replacement drive on hand, and while this drive is identical to the failing drive, because Unraid, I can use any drive of equal or greater capacity. So to replace the drive, because I built my server from a normal desktop workstation, I don't have hot swappable drive bay, so I'll need to power down the server. Also, because this system has been sitting in my basement running nonstop for a couple of years now, I thought it was a great time to blow some of the dust out of there. Quick tip, if you use compressed air to clean out your computer, first, make sure the pressure isn't ridiculously high. An air compressor can actually blow SMDs right off your motherboard if you're not careful. Also, be sure to hold the fan blade so they don't spin, which can damage the fans. I also took this time to upgrade the graphics card in the server. Now, on another note, because I'm replacing an existing disk, I did not zero out or pre-clear the new disk, however, you should do that to identify any potential problems with your new drive. You also need to do that if you're just adding a new disk to expand your array with more capacity. To pre-clear a disk, you'll need to install the unassigned devices pre-clear app, then install the new disk into an empty slot and spin up the server. On your main page, you should see the new disk shows up under unassigned devices. And in the tools tab, you'll select pre-clear disk. Here, you should see that new unassigned disk. Just select the disk and start the pre-clear. If the disk is error-free, this typically takes one to three hours per terabyte of space on the disk, depending on the disk speed. Okay, with the chassis cleaner, I located disk three and replaced it with the new disk and then reconnected and powered back up the server. Back in my dashboard now, I can see that disk three is missing and it's telling me what disk should be there. So I'm just gonna click the drop down and select the new disk. Now I just need to start the array and the system will begin the process of rebuilding all the data from the parity and other data drives back onto disk three. This will, as you can see, take some time. However, all the data is still there. So while I wouldn't recommend dumping large amounts of new data to the server, you can still use the server and access your storage pool while the rebuild process is running. And there you have it, guys. Swapping out a disk in your Unraid server doesn't have to be a daunting task. Just follow these steps and you'll be back up and running in no time. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. And I'll see you in the next one.